Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm showing you how to convert Java Edition Worlds to Bedrock Edition Worlds. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. And so in this video I'll be showing you how to convert a Java Edition World into a Bedrock Edition World but using the same method you can also convert a Bedrock Edition World into a Java Edition World. And I'll be showing you how to do this with an example. This is one of my first ever survival worlds and I made it here on Minecraft Java Edition. As you can see I'm in Java right here version 1.21.5 and this world has all kinds of stuff so it has this house it has this map over here there's all kinds of sheep here as well there are some farms here also some farms that definitely don't work anymore like this iron farm and that iron farm and that iron farm and this iron farm there's minecart hoppers moving over here and we'll see which of these things will remain when we port this world from java edition into bedrock edition so how do we go about this well, it's by using something called Chunker. It's an open source program that is used for Minecraft world conversion. And I'll leave a link down below to the website where you can download Chunker. It will look something like this. And all you have to do is just click on the download button over here to download Chunker. This will start the download. And then all you need to do is just run the exe file. And then you'll be put into a screen that looks something like this. So there's two different options here. You can either choose a world folder or you can select an archive folder. So that's a zip file or a Minecraft world file where a Minecraft world file is a Bedrock Edition world. But for this case, we'll just choose a world folder. You should make your way over to the Minecraft folder. If you don't know where the Minecraft folder is for either Java Edition or Bedrock Edition, I've already made a video on it. Link to that is in the top right of your screen. So you can quickly go to your Minecraft folder. I'll just go over to saves and I'll look for the world we were just in which embarrassingly is called best survival ever. It's quite a big world. As you can see, it's 936 megabytes. So it will take some time to convert. The smaller the world is, the faster it will convert into a better condition world, but this will take a while. So just click on upload and it says your world is ready to be loaded. So then just make sure to press start here. And if you see an error like this, that is probably because you still have the world open like I have. So if you go and close the world and quit the game and then retry this, Click on upload again and click start again. You'll see that we get to a new screen now. So now we want to select which version of Better Condition we want to convert our Java Edition world to. There's all of options here and the latest one will always be at the top here. But you can also convert it into different Java Edition versions here as well. So here's also where you could convert a Better Condition world into a Java Edition world. But for now we'll just select the latest main version of Minecraft Better Condition which is 1.21.70. And after we do that we just have to scroll down all the way to the bottom. And there we can click on convert. There's also an advanced mode here where we can generate a preview of the world. And so here is the preview. This is exactly the world we were just in. As you can see right here, this is the same thing that was on my map pretty much. And if we zoom out, we can also see which areas of the world I have at some point loaded. For example, I traveled over here for some reason at some point. And here you can see also the world settings that are for this world, the game rules used and so on. Here you can also prune regions of your world if you want to do that. You can also convert blocks, since maybe some of the blocks that are in Java are not in Bedrocks. So maybe you want to change one type of block to another here, that is also possible. And here you can set even more settings if you want. But anyway, once you're done with that, you can just click on the convert button. And this will start converting your world. Now, as I said before, this may take some time if you have a large world. And so first this bar will fill out and it will say compacting output. This will take a while, but then once it is done with compacting output, it will show this non percentage, which don't worry, that is perfectly normal. And then finally it will zip the output into a single file. So for my world here, it took about eight minutes for it to convert. And my world was about one gigabyte large. So now all you need to do is just click on save and then you can save this Minecraft world file. I'll just put it in this MC convert worlds folder and click save. So now if I open that folder, we have our best survival ever MC world. And if you have micro Edition condition installed on your PC, all you have to do is just double click on it and it will start up micro Edition condition and will import the world into your micro Edition. condition. So now if you press on play, you will see that there is our best survival ever. You can see it's a bit smaller here. It's only 433 megabytes instead of the 900 it was in Java edition. And we can start it up. Here we go. So this is indeed what my world looked like. 
Now there are a few changes, namely that for example all of the sheep here are gone, so entities aren't really carried over between Java and Battle Condition worlds sadly. Although as you can see the maps are, so the maps are still here on this board, those are carried over. But as for other entities it doesn't seem like those are converted. For example the minecarts that were moving around over here have also disappeared. But all of the blocks are here. And we can see that even our cactus farm is still working. And also all the items I had in my inventory have also been converted over into this world. And so the same thing also goes for all the items that are in chests. So this is my storage system over here. And as you can see this contains all of the items I had in my survival world. Everything is here. And so there we go, that's how to convert a Minecraft Java Edition world into Minecraft Baroque Edition. If you do have any more questions about this, then please leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, there we go. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please subscribe!